like maybe a new video um, since we keep doing the same one over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my timer on my watch for 10 minutes and I'm going to turn on some music that I play uh, for my functional fitness class and I thought we could just get walking and moving and just kind of have a good time. So I think I'm going to turn the lights on a little bit just to make it a little brighter in here. Um, and so I'm going to set my timer. All right. So the timer is going and I'm going to go ahead and start up my music. All right. This is girls just want to have fun. All right. So here we are. We're just going to have a little fun here. So before we start, we're going to just do a little bit of stretching. You can have your chair nearby in case if you need it for balance or whatever that we're going to do. So all we're going to do is we're going to just start by marching. All right. Get that blood pumping. Remember, you go at your own pace just as long as you get those arms moving a little bit and just kind of marching in place. So next, we're going to just go ahead and we're just going to reach up to the sky. And if you just want to do just the arms and not have the feet, that's fine. But again, this is good. Get some motion into those shoulders. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna reach out in front of you. All right, bending those elbows a little bit, getting the torso moving side to side a little bit. All right, and next you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press down. So just go ahead and press back, just works the triceps a little bit, the back of the arm, and just All right, very good. Next, we're going to do some knee lifts. So again, if you want to have your chair handy, but just kind of get just anything that's higher than just what your normal walking is. So if it's just up a little bit, that's all right. But just, this is really good. It, it works your thigh muscles a little bit. All right. And you can actually, if you want to, come behind your chair, because next we're going to do I call them butt kickers, so you're just going to go ahead and bring it up again. If you just bring it up a little bit, that's all right. Just getting those leg muscles moving in all different directions. And then the next one is you're going to come to the front. Now, I always cue my ladies to go ahead and if they want to just touch their knees, that's fine as well. Or if you want to try to go down a little bit lower in the leg, again, if you need your chair, you can do that. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to go ahead and tap the foot behind you. All right, this kind of works on balance as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna set that right foot in front and you're gonna scoop it up and pull it back. And I tell them to lift that back heel up, bring in some more mo movement in. And then you're gonna take it back and you're just gonna go ahead and tap your toe out. This is great for your ankles, brings in some ankle movement. All right. And then go ahead and we're going to just go ahead and do it on the other side, up and back. All right, this song is a cele celebrate another day of living. All right, maybe I'll increase, increase that volume a little bit. We're supposed to work off my watch, but you know how that goes. So. All right. Now you're just going to step side to side. You can add the arms into it. If you still need the chair to go side to side, you can do that as well. But it's really important to change your pattern. This helps with fall prevention. All right. And again, if you can get those arms moving too. If you need to take a break with your feet and just bring your arms up and down. Again, this is good for your shoulders and your upper back. 
So it's so important to just keep on moving. And your goal is just to try to stay standing for the whole 10 minutes and move in those arms and those legs. All right, so that was the basic warm up that I always do uh, with my babies. So, so another thing that we do is we do squats. Now, everybody always says, oh my gosh, I can't do squats, I can't do squats. Okay, I tell people you sit down on the toilet every day, right? So you're going and you're gonna sit down on the toilet. So, you know, it just goes like this, just like you're sitting down on the pot. So it's really important to do some squats. Again, if you want the chair, and just go down as low as your knees want. The other thing you can do is if it bothers your knee, I tell people to adjust your foot position. For some people, the way their, their femur and their tibia come together, sometimes it's better if they're toed in a little bit or toed out even more or just, so just do a couple squats where you're kind of playing with a foot position and just find that sweet spot, find that way that you're like, oh, this doesn't really hurt my knees too bad. So again, you don't have to go down super far. Some of my ladies, they just kind of stay up here. But again, keeping that movement in the joint is so important. All right, another thing that we do is we come together like this and you wiggle your hips side to side. This is really good for your lower back area. So, like, so I always say, we're gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that always gets a couple giggles. All right, next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna step out to the side and shimmy those shoulders and then we come back and clap, clap. So down, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, 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 clap, clap. Shimmy, 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 clap, clap. Again, this gets that upper body moving. Woohoo! Just want to celebrate. Woohoo! All right, now this one gets a little tricky. Your knees are bent, and you're going to reach up to your side. Feel that all the side body moving. And then we're going to go ahead. And we're gonna reach up with the other side. And sometimes this feels really good. Again, if you need your chair, just really get that nice stretch in the side and reach up. All right. Ooh, a little good. Gloria Estefan, we roll it a little bit. Roll those hands. Take it up. Take it down. Oh, yeah, it's party time. Take it up, take it down, and reach it up, and take it down. All right, let's go back to walking a little bit. Up and up the volume a little bit more. Kind of a fun little jazzy song here, a little Spanish flair. Get those hips moving. You know, when you sit a lot, you get kind of gunky down. So it's good to kind of sway things side to side. And get those arms moving. You need to take a break with your feet and just kind of move those arms. It's kind of fun. We can go swimming. And then let's go ahead and take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. All right, let's go walking. I'm a little, getting a little warm here. We have our air conditioner off, enjoying some breezes here. Although I shut my window so my neighbors don't have to hear my little conversation to myself. So. But I got a little fan in the corner here, so I'm doing good. All right, get those arms moving. Remember, if you're getting tuckered out, you can always just kind of lift your hands and just be like this. Or you can just stand still and just move your arms. Just try not to get end up into that chair, so. 
10 minutes. That's good. All right, we're gonna just do a little touch step side to side. Again, it's always good to work yourself in different directions. Raise that brain. Push those arms up a little bit. And smile, right? You gotta be smiling. Touch again, concentrating on things so much. All right, there you go. My timer says we're done with the 10 minutes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give you a couple little stretches and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give you another 10 minutes, all right? So, all right, so this is the end of this 10 minutes. So we already did some warm up stuff. So we don't need to do too much stretching because we already just did our stretches. And bring it up and down. And then take your chin down to your chest and take your eyes up to the sky. Now I want you to look to your right and then look to your left. You want to keep that neck, that circle spine with motion. Let's look right again and look left again. Look straight ahead and a nice big deep breath. All right, 10 minutes of fun. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and stop the video, but know that there's another 10 minutes. So with, um, if you're watching this on your iPad, you can just, when you go to do it the next time, just you can move your finger across that line at the bottom and it'll take you to that halfway point. All right, so, okay. So you're done with that session. Very good. Now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set my timer again for another 10 minutes. And let's see if we can see what we have for songs here. Let's see. Okay. All right, we're gonna start. Clap your hands. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a warm up on this one because I, the thought process is this could be another day, another time, another 10 minutes, all right? So we're just gonna reach up for four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna take it to the front. One, two, three, four. You're gonna push it down. One, two, three, four. You're gonna bring that knee up. Remember, you always have that option with your chair. Knee up just higher than what you usually have. Now you're gonna kick butt, so you're gonna kick it to the back. Again, you can hold it onto your chair or hold it onto the wall, whatever's around. All right, now you're gonna go ahead and tap that front knee. One, three, four, and now you're gonna tap it to the back. A little trickier, but you always have that option of having your chair. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, step that right foot up and scoop it up and pull it back and scoop it up and pull it back. We're just doing everything just four times this time around. And you're gonna take it back and tap that toe. One, two, three, four. Good. Now step that left foot forward. You're gonna reach up. One, two, three, and four. And tap it out. One, two, three, four. Now we wanna go side to side. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get right into it today. So we're marching it. Get those arms going. Remember, our goal is to stay up and moving for 10 minutes, right? You got this. Pretty soon the weather will be getting nice, nice fall days where you can do some laps up and down here and out. And then work your way all the way around the block. That'd be great. Especially as the weather gets really pretty, those and the foliage is changing colors. All right. Let's do some side to side motion. So again, you can just stay behind your chair if you'd like. I'm gonna keep the chair out just so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead, and step out, step back behind, and step across. So step, 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 back. Step, 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 back. One, two, three, whoop. One, two, three, So this is really good because you kind of get your feet a little tangled. So that is good if you're ever doing housework or bringing groceries in or something and your feet get a little tangled. Tells your brain what to do when we get a little tangled up. You're like, hey, I know this. 
I know this new. All right. Oh yeah. Honey, honey. All right, we're just gonna stand still for a little bit. We're gonna just move our arms and do our trunk. So you know this, we've done these stretches before. Oh yeah, really open up the front of the hip, so important. Get skunky. All right, let's sway side to side. Don't forget to bend those knees. Make sure the lower body's flowing with the upper body. All right, now we're gonna get a little bit Little rotation here. Now if this is bothering your knees, you want to make sure you keep those knees nice and soft. And we're going side to side. All right, nice job. Let's do some side to side steps. All right, keep that big smile on the face, right? Dad, wondering what you're smiling about, right? All right, another thing we're going to do is go ahead and get close to your chair, or if you want to be by the wall or something. I call this fast feet, and this is really good to kind of train yourself. Say you're sitting there, all of a sudden the phone rings, and you've got to jump up and run really fast. So this kind of, again, that neural brain connection with your feet. So if you feel better holding on to something, but what I want you to do is I want you to move your feet as fast as you can move them. All right? And we're just gonna do that for like 15 seconds. So super fast, as fast as you can go. I tell my ladies it's like being a football player when they're out there on the field, they're doing this. So go ahead and as fast as whatever, if, if it's just like this for you, that's okay. But faster than what you do day to day. All right? So then what we're gonna do, same thing with the upper body. So fast, fast for 15 seconds, here we go. Digga, 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 digga. Move it as fast as you can. Whatever's fast for you. It's okay if you get a little butt action going in. But just karate chop it. Move it, move it, move it, fast, fast, fast. Woo! All right. You should be maybe a little breathy, a little shorter breath than that. That's okay. We're getting that blood pumping and pumping. All right. Oh, come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Oh, yeah. Whatever the twist is for you, it might just be taking those arms and twisting. Or if you'd like to get those hips into it. Oh yeah. Can't help but smiling on this one. Get those arms going. If you don't want your legs going at this point, just play with those arms. Ooh yeah. Go ahead and bring it back in. Be up on your toe to do this. Don't hurt your knees. But it's really not a knee movement. It's more just moving that foot. As long as your foot and your hips are doing the same thing, the knees are not really doing anything. All right. Let's just do a little march. Just kind of bringing it up, moving those arms. You got two minutes left. You're almost there. Woo! Oh yeah. Now if you want it, let's try walk forward. And we're gonna walk back. Again, if you need to be near the wall, and take it back. Forward. That backwards, very key to fall prevention, right? Because you never know, you're in the kitchen or whatever, you gotta back up because you're getting over to the stove. So go ahead and work that brain and those legs at the same time. Good 
right? I gotta turn this up. We are family, right? How perfect is that?